Good morning and thank you for tuning in to the Andrew Tate Show brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. We've got a great show for you guys today. We're going to be covering Justin Fields and Kenny Pickett, um, the CFP expansion and revenue sharing, LeBron James scoring record, and make sure you guys stick around for later in the show when we'll be diving into our oddities of the day. Before we start, I'd like to ask you guys like and follow the show. Also, we get a number of questions from viewers that come in during the show, so to ensure that your question gets read on the air, I ask that you use the tips and donation link with your question. The tips and donation link is gsmcpodcast.net. This puts your question at the top of the list so that I can see it, and it also just really helps the show. Hello, Tate. How are you? Hello, Miss Faith. How are you? I'm good. It's mo- it's Monday, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, this time, it's one of those things, guys, where Faith and I normally do our subtleties on air we ended up talking before so <laughs> yeah. it's kind of like hey faith uh, <laughs> <laughs> i already know about your weekend and how it yeah. was and things. so <laughs> normally we do that on air but today mm-hmm. we had a little extra time so we ended up talking yeah. off chit-chat. air <laughs> yes it is a monday let's mm-hmm. keep the fingers crossed no technical issues <laughs> We've been Let's doing good a, the past couple of Mondays, I feel like. So, <laughs> nine, nine, 99 problems, but a computer is not one. Let's, right do, let's go that route and <laughs> let's dive into it. Okie dokie. So, uh, the NFL had a, a busy weekend. Uh, the Chicago Pair. Pairs. Bears. Pairs. <laughs> Pairs. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, the, that's their. their uh, flag football team (laughs) to Chicago Bears yeah (laughs) so the Chicago Bears traded um quarterback Justin Fields to the Steelers um and then the Steelers uh also traded Kenny Pickett to the Eagles um after Russell Wilson's signing but let's uh discuss Justin Fields First, um, the Bears have traded quarterback Justin Fields to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, the teams confirmed in a statement on Saturday. The Steelers sent a 2025, uh, yeah, 2025 six-round pick to the Bears that converts to a fourth round selection if Fields plays 51% of snaps this season, um, a source told ESPN's Adam Schefter. Fields, who completed his third season in Chicago in 2023, will join a quarterback room with Russell Wilson, who signed a one-year deal with the Steelers on Friday. Fields is not expected to compete with Wilson for the starting job. Um, Instead, Fields is expected to learn from the Super Bowl winner and nine-time pro bowler. In a social media post Saturday, Fields thanked the Bears organization in the city of Chicago for, um, quote, for allowing me the opportunity to be part of such a historic franchise. Two weeks ago at the NFL Combine, uh, Bears general manager Ryan Poles addressed the idea of a Fields trade publicly for the first time. Poles said he aimed to not leave the quarterback in limbo and hoped to do right by Fields as Chicago determined its quarterback plan for the future. Now, I know that you probably are happy with this this decision. <laughs> so, but I would I love to hear it. your thoughts on it. Okay. Starting out, I said the best place for Justin Field to go was Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. But I also said the best place for Russell Wilson to go was Pittsburgh. Right. Never in my wildest dreams, but I think both of them both were going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> now, all of a sudden, This is not, this is, it's it's, just, okay, first off, when I saw this, I was absolutely blown away, so much so that I didn't even believe it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, they just traded for Russell Wilson, so there's, there, there, no, they didn't do this. Mm -hmm. And so I had to check another place, and then another place, and then... I turned to ESPN and there it was. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what in the hell has happened? I'm like, <laughs> I, I, how did this go down? Mm-hmm. Then I saw the trade, which knocked me on my butt. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, when everyone was talking about Justin Phil getting traded, initially everyone was talking about that 
he was going to go for a first round pick. Later, they were they were looking at a, a late first, early second round pick. Mm-hmm. And as I started seeing more and more quarterbacks go off, I'm like, is he going to slide? I'm like, maybe a third, fourth round pick. But when I saw that he went for a six round pick, I, I, I'm like, impossible, absolutely impossible. Think you could trade me for a six round pick. <laughs> I think I could, uh, I, you know what? I, I think you could a six round pick and a bag of Skittles and that's a deal. <laughs> I do not believe that he went for so little. Mm-hmm. That just seems impossible. At that point, if the only thing I could get for Justin Field was a six round pick, I'm not trading him. Mm-hmm. They gave him away. I just did not understand why the Bears would do that. I It's obvious now that they were going to go for Caleb Williams in the draft. That's going to be the first pick in this Mm -hmm. overall draft. Uh, But to, it's just like completely has just been like, listen, we don't want him in the room. We don't want him on, on the field. We we don't, we don't want him part of the team. And I know a lot of people have talked about how you can't have Justin Fields and Caleb Williams in the same on the same team. I would like to know why not. You know, both of them are young guys. Mm-hmm. Both of them are buying for the future. You really you have them learn from each other. Uh, I wouldn't have done this. No way would I have done this. Um, I don't understand why so many people look at it like I look at. Back that used to be the Redskins, now it's Commanders. When they drafted Kirk Cousins and Robert Griffin the third, and you look out how you don't know what the future may hold, and like Robert Griffin ended up getting injured and things. Kirk Cousins, they end up using him for a while, but having I don't look at having two quarterbacks that are developing on are at different points in time I and their development, I think is a good thing. It makes it so that if Caleb is not ready to go, you put Justin Field out there. You give Caleb as much time as he needs to adjust to the NFL speed, uh, adjust to the locker room and things like that. I don't, if you're just gonna give him away for pretty much nothing, because that's the kind of way I look at it as far as you know, even um, Trey Lance went for a four. Uh, I'm not letting, I'm just not letting him go for that. Mm-hmm. So that was my first take. Then shifting the gear gears to the Steelers. My first reaction when I realized that it was real was because I was super happy for Russ. And I'm like, this is the perfect place for Russ. He's their quarterback. He's their quarter. He he's he could he, yes, he signed for a very low amount, 1.6 million, but he can really get out there, show what he can do, and then get signed for a long term, a longer term agreement with the with uh the Steelers. I thought this was a great move for the Steelers and uh and Russ. Mm-hmm. Now, then once I found out about this trade, then I felt bad for Russ because I'm sorry, this is not going to end well for us. And here is the reason why. They've already talked about how Russ is going to be the man for this year. But they have Justin Fields as their quarterback of the future. Mm-hmm. They're gonna, they want him to learn, things like that. But that never, it rarely ever happens that way. Russ comes in, he starts playing, Russ is doing well, or he does poorly. The minute they start losing games, Faith, mm. when you have the former uh, number one pick on your in your roster, what are you going what are your fans gonna be like? Hey, he stinks. Put in <laughs> Justin Fields. Put in yeah. Justin Fields. The pressure 
from week two on to get to see Justin Field is going to be a real thing. Russ is, I don't feel like Russ will ever have a chance to really showcase his, his skills for an entire year. I'm already predicting by mid-season, there's going to be a major, it could be way earlier than that, but by mid-season, there's going to be a quarterback controversy because the media, everyone wants this. They they live for controversy. So the Steelers go on a back-to-back losing streak. Mm-hmm. Everyone has them. Everyone is going to want put put them down, bring in Justin Fields. Justin Fields can lose lose James games just as well as Russell Wilson. Go for the young kid. Go for the young kid. There's going to be a lot of pressure to get rid of Russ and bring in a young kid. It's kind of like when New England had Cam Newton after Tom Brady left and they brought in Matt Jones. Training camp, instantly, everyone wanted to know Matt Jones. They want to see Matt Jones. They want to see Matt Jones. There was so much controversy, so much going on. Eventually, Cam Newton was released. Matt Jones became the starter because everyone wants to see what the young guy can do. He's the new shiny toy. Mm-hmm. Russ is, okay, you got, a, you got a Honda Civic that you've been driving, but you just got delivered you know, your new Mercedes Mm -hmm. and you're driving around. Everyone's like, dude, don't pick me up in the Civic. Pick me up in the Mercedes. (laughs) Am I right? He's that young, flashy, you know, sports car. Mm -hmm. That's the way I see it. It, I don't think this is going to be a great place. And Russ, the consummate professional, he's like, let's go. That quarterback room is going to be amazing and things like that. But Russ has to know all the pressures on him now. Mm-hmm. If he, if, and it, Russ had a good year last year. People don't realize it. Look at the numbers. Russ's year was a good year. It wasn't a great year, but it was a good year. And he just ended up in a bad situation because Sean Payton really didn't want him there. That wasn't his guy. Well, guess what? It's the same situation, but the difference is Russ is only making $1.6 million. So it, there's no, hey, we have to pay this guy. Mm-hmm. With the pressure coming on, Russ could still have an even better year than he had last year and still get benched or still get released because people in Pittsburgh, people in Northeast Ohio, that's that 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 whole area is a Pittsburgh, Cleveland area. I grew up there. They're going to be clamoring because everyone's going to want to know, want to see Justin Fields. Also, that Pittsburgh, Northeast Ohio area where the that fan base is at. Like I said, I grew up there. That is Ohio State country, mm-hmm. and Justin Fields being an Ohio State quarterback is absolutely loved in that area. So you have, you know, the prodigal child coming home. Russ is not Mm -hmm. their future. What do you see when Russ starts losing a game? Pittsburgh's not good enough to to go, you know, 13 and four or something like that. Pittsburgh's going to lose games. Mm -hmm. They're, even with Russ, they're a seven to 10 win team, meaning there's too many losses in there. They're going to want Russ out. The fans, the media are going to want Justin Fields. And they, it's, it's a, it's a bad place for Russ right now. Mm-hmm. Do you see that? Especially with, yeah. when you look at the area and like I said, I grew up there born mm-hmm. and raised in Northeast Ohio on the border with Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. They're crazy. Either there's pretty much two types of fans, either the Browns fans or either the Steelers fans, Mm -hmm. but they're all Ohio State fans. And Justin Fields is an Ohio State quarterback who is loved. Mm -hmm. Who are you going to want to see? 
So essentially, like it's it's good for Justin Fields, but bad for Russell Wilson. It's a really good situation for Justin Fields because mm -hmm. there's he right now he is brought in as the backup. Mm -hmm. You get a possible Hall of Fame guy to work with. I think that's ingenious. Uh, he can learn from Russ. He can go through an entire training camp with Russ, how Russ prepares, how he reads film, what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So he could learn from Russ. He can watch Russ. He's He can do pretty much, he's a more athletic Russ. And so I think that's a nice pairing. I would, I if, if they stuck with this plan though, of this whole year, it's Russ's team and we're not starting him, I think it would be absolutely ingenious. Yeah. Now, real quick, I'm gonna I'm gonna touch on this. Faith just asked me about Kenny Pickett. So I'm gonna <laughs> she's all sneaky, sneaky on this one, but I'm gonna touch on it. Real quick. It was the right move to let Kenny Pickett go. They yeah. traded Kenny Pickett away. Uh, Kenny Pickett wasn't the future there. Kenny Pickett, in my opinion, right now is a backup quarterback. Bringing Russ and Justin Field there is is a is a major upgrade. Getting rid of Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph uh, kind of unclutters that quarterback room, so there's no controversy. The Pittsburgh Steelers have turned the page on this, and they are moving forward with the Russ and Justin Field era and mm -hmm. the Kenny Pickett, Mason Rudolph era, which was quite disappointing, is over, yeah. and it's the right this and it's the right decision. Okay, <laughs> I wrapped that bad boy up with a bow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making sure we were running out of time. <laughs> uh, so just just wanted to touch on that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I really didn't think about it like being bad for Russ until you brought it up, but I do I do agree that poor Russell Wilson. Poor he can't catch a break, man. <laughs> uh, I don't think he I, I think it's gonna be rough on him. Yeah. I think the you know, he's he's going to Justin Fields home area. Mm -hmm. Ohio State is loved in that Northeast Ohio, Western Pennsylvania area. Right. Uh, they're going to want to see, they're going to want to see Justin Field. I don't, the media and the fans are not going to be like, hey, they did say this year's <laughs> Russ's year. Yeah. So no matter what <laughs> happens, this is Russ's year. No way they're not, they're yeah. not doing it. Absolutely yeah. not. Mm -hmm. They're going to want Russ. Matter of fact, I think they're gonna think they're gonna want Justin Fields before the season even starts. Training sure. camp. Yeah. Preseason. If Justin Field mm -hmm. comes out there, he scrambles for a big old play, throws for a touchdown, it's gonna be start him right out the gate. It's gonna I think you got a contra quarterback controversy starting now. Mm hmm Well, I guess We'll see what happens when the season starts. Um, oh, there's gonna be a lot. This gonna, that's gonna be that's gonna be a fun story in my book. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but uh, we're gonna take a quick break, guys, and when we come back, we're gonna dive back into the college football playoff drama of it all, <laughs> reality TV. <laughs> so I stick like around, it. guys. <laughs> 